All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahawashai, Ba'ashim Rakakurash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Yesharada the rule well, and salutations to you, Akim, out in the Hawis and the Bawis, preaching this word in truth and in sincerity. And uh, I just wanted to touch on something right quick. You know, it was in my mind. And uh, basically, um, it is, it's based off this verse you see on the screen, Lamentations 3 and 39. And uh, sometimes when we go through certain things, um, we tend to say why and, you know, and complain and, 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 and weep and cry and all that, right? But at the end of the day, There, there is no reason for that, you know? Because we, we have to understand that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is just. And he's not going to do anything that, that to you that you don't deserve. So whether we understand why these things are happening or not, we have to realize that, that the Lord is doing this because what? Of something we did against him. Whether in this lifetime or in any of our past lifetimes. You know, because according to the Bible, reincarnation is real. You know, so this ultimately, the, these afflictions, these punishments, whenever we go through anything, it's it's happening to us because of something we did against the Lord. So we all ultimately, all we have to do is suck it up. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, you know, sometimes it feels like we've been on point and damn, I'm getting jacked up. But hey, the Most High is a righteous judge and he's not going to do anything that's unjust. So hey, if it happens, hey, call all Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Please, Lord, have mercy upon me. You know, uh, one uh, one thing I heard from the brother Murph, he said, I don't, I don't say why, I say when will it end? You know, so we got to have that mindset. Don't say why. Ultimately, we know why because we deserve it. You know, do we know exactly mm -hmm. what sin exactly the Lord is, you know, um, punishing us for? No, but ultimately he's punishing us for some sin that we did. You know, so instead of complaining and all that, hey, if any, hey, just say, Salakia, call all your Bashimi how shy and Lord, when would it end? You know, when would I stop getting afflicted? Please make it in Salakia, you know. Have mercy upon me, you know. Say that. Don't complain. Oh, why is this happening? I don't deserve this and all that. Nah. Don't do that. This is Lamentations 3 and 39. It says, Wherefore doth the, man, doth the living man complain, complain a man for the punishment of his sins? You know, so why are you complaining about if you know that we've sinned? If we know that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is doing this because we went against him, you know? So ultimately, we know why. You know? So why put, why dwell on it like that? No, say, say Salakia for whatever it is. Ask the Lord to teach you the lesson this has to teach you, you know? And, and, and hey, when will it end? And, and, and that's it. You know, suck it up. We deserve it. You know? Do better. You know? There's no point of complaining, man. Because, hey, it, 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 shit. Well, look what happened to Job. You know, Job complained and all that. And the Lord treated his ass, man. So, hey, you'll fuck around complaining. The Lord might come down on you and, and treat you like, okay, you, oh, you, so you think you're just, you think that, that what I'm doing is wrong. You think, ooh, ooh, you see, you don't want the Lord to come down and, 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 and fucking, you know, uh, 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 treat you, man. Because he'll tell you and he'll make you feel like shit uh, 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 of why you, you're going through this, why you deserve it, and when you need to shut the fuck up, man. Because ultimately, that's what we got to do, you know? Salakia and shut the fuck up. Take it. However the Lord, however long the Lord is, d decides for us to go through these things. And and that's it, you know? That's it. 
uh, verse 40, let us search and try our ways and turn again to Yahweh. You see? That's what, that, that's what we, instead of complaining, that's what we should do. Turn, check ourselves. Okay, what am I doing wrong? How can I better myself? This and that, so on and so forth, right? And turn to Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know? Even if you, you, you think in your mind you, you've been on point on, on most things. Hey, you can never be on point on everything. There's always room per, for perfection, you know? So, instead of complaining, let's do that. Ask for, ask for mercy from the Lord and get right. You know, there's no, no point of, of, of dwelling on it and complaining and being sad and... Nah, man. Hey, we deserve it, man. We we were wicked as hell, you know. And yeah, you, we don't have to know what we did in our past lifetime. Just this lifetime alone, we were wicked as hell. You know. Verse 41, let us lift up our heart with, with our hands unto Yahweh in the heavens. We have transgressed and have rebelled. Thou has not pardoned. You see? Acknowledge it. Like, yeah, instead of complaining, like, yeah, we fucked up, Salakia. We rebelled, Salakia. You know? You know, I, and, and, hey, this is a punishment, you know, that, that, that we deserve. All that says, Thou has covered with anger and preserve, per, and persecuted us. Thou has slain, thou has not pitied. You know, because sometimes it, it, it does feel like that. But hey, at the end of the day, what? We deserve it. Why? Because we rebelled against them. We transgressed against them. You know? It says, Thou has covered thyself with a cloud that our prayer should not pass through. Thou has made us as the offscoring and refuse in the midst of the people. All our enemies have opened their mouths against us. It says fear and snare is come upon us, desolation and destruction. You know, because that, that's how it feels, man. You know, sometimes you be praying for it. You know, sometimes hey, you, you be asking the Lord, like, damn, when, when would it end? And it might not even end. <laughs> you know, you might be going through something for years. You know? At the end of the day, we have we have to acknowledge that what, that we deserve it. No, however, however long the Lord seems fit, to uh, uh to judge us, you know. With what, with whatever He seems to judge us with, you know we have to, you know um it's like it, it it feels like that you know, like damn He's not listening to me and all that. But look, at the end of the day, we have to keep our faith towards Yahweh Bashim Shai, and. Know that the Most High is not unjust. And 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 suck it up. The last thing you want to do is give up. Because you're getting jacked up. You know, because now you're you, now in your mind you're saying that that's unjust and that's why you're not fighting anymore. You know, no, forget that mentality. Hey, oh well, you might have to. We might have to go through something till the Lord comes back. You know? So whether it feels like that, that the Lord is, is rejecting us, the Lord is constantly afflicting us and all that, know that it's for a reason. You know? And more than likely, that reason is that because we went off, whether in this lifetime or in our past lifetime. You know? And continue to do His work, man. You know, that's no excuse. Because as soon as you give up, hey, because you feel like the Lord is not dealing with you, that's when the Lord will show you, well, look, I actually was. You didn't, you couldn't endure. You couldn't remain patient, you know? You know what? Let me get that. This is Luke 21 and 19. It says, In your patience possess ye your souls. You see? And that's, that's we don't want to do that. You know? 
We don't want to lose patience because sometimes it, it, when, when you get into that complaining spirit, you try to justify shit. You try to be like, oh, well, this is unfair or this and that, this and that. And if you're constantly in that spirit you and you're not checking it and you're not acknowledging the truth, you're going to end up what? Just, just saying fuck it. You know? Oh, whatever. I'm tired of this, man. I keep asking the Lord this. I keep saying this. I've been doing his work and I haven't, you know, man, whatever. I'm I'm done, you know? Nah, man. Hey, tss, hey. Remain patient, which patient means endure. So endure whatever it is the Lord bring upon us. And keep doing his work. Keep, keep, keep the faith, man. If it's something we have to deal with until the Lord comes back, oh, so be it. Look at it this way. Hey, we're almost at the end. So, hey, that thing is almost uh, um, going to end. Whatever it is that you're going through. You know? We all know our, our personal afflictions. You know? They come in many <laughs> shapes and forms. You know? Mm-hmm. But we, 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 there's no point in us complaining. Uh, uh, us complaining and losing patience is not going to get us nowhere. The Lord, with the Lord, when He does these things, what the Lord likes to see is the servants continue to fight for Him. His servants acknowledging that this is happening because they sin and still striving to get right. That's what the Lord wants to see. And at the end of the day, the fact that this is happening to us is the Lord showing us that He's dealing with us. So if anything, rejoice. Paul said it. We rejoice in tribulations, you know? Rejoice, because that, that, that's, that's a sign of the Lord acknowledging you and punishing you because He cares about you. Hey, one thing I remember, man, this one time my my tire got a flat, and uh, and it was late at night and everything, right? And I didn't have a spare or nothing. Instead of me getting mad and all that, which I could have, I laughed, I smiled, I looked, I looked up at the sky and I smiled, you know. I was like, oh well, you know, and and, and that's uh, you know it. it it doesn't always happen, but that's how I, I, I try to deal with most of the situations that come upon me. With a smile, like, hey, oh, well, fuck it, you know? If the Lord brought me here, he can get me through. There's no point in me getting mad and sad and all that, man. That's, that's not going to do anything. At the end of the day, why? Because hey, I deserve it, you know? And that means what? That the Lord is dealing with me, you know? This is a uh, like yeah. Things eight and five or five and eight. Con. This is Deuteronomy 8 and 5. It says, Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so Yahweh thy power chasteneth thee. You know? And a father that does not chasten his son, it's a father that does not love his son. So, instead of complaining, you know, rejoice in it. You know? Because that's the Lord showing you that he loves you. You know? Why? Because he's punishing you so you could get right. So you could get better. And that's what these afflictions do at the end of the day. They make us better. They keep us in the, they keep us humble. They keep us uh, in the spirit of hating this place. They keep us uh, 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 they make us wiser, more patient, they build up our faith. All that those are all things that we need in order for us to endure. So why are we gonna get mad? You see? Even though it doesn't feel good, it 
the Lord will make us benefit from it. So in other, in other words, he yeah, he's punishing us, but he's also making us better. So is it really a punishment? <laughs> you see? You know, so that's basically all I had. You know, I didn't want to make this too long. You know, just instead of next time we go, you go through something, instead of complaining, instead of all that, suck it up, man. Suck it up. You know, uh, give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and and continue to do the work. You know, because at the end of the day, the Most High is just. He's not gonna put you through something you don't deserve. And and. It means that he's dealing you. With, he's dealing with you as he do, that he does with sons, and is gonna benefit you. Spiritually, you know, like the scriptures say, at the end it might it might seem grievous, but at the end it yielded the peaceable fruits, man. You see. Hey, so with that, hopefully, you burn will edified. I'm gonna end up giving our praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakurash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Yisrael that rule well, and salutations to Yakim. Pushing his word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. Ba 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 ba.